Dude, just think about being a human. Whoop! <laughs> that was all I had to do! <laughs> I hit the record button. I hit the record button too early. I hit the rec I wasn't ready to do the intro, but I hit the button by accident. Hi, YouTube. Welcome back. Uh, we're here with One Piece. <laughs> I might have hit the button faster than I intended to. <laughs> so let's get into it. I have COVID. That is all. Like, subscribe. Do the algorithm guads. <laughs> Tell me I'm a good bean. <laughs> I'm going kind of crazy. <laughs> but I'm doing my best. I talk a lot when I'm sick, I found out from the last recording. So that's pretty cool. Uh, check out the Patreon for early access to reactions. Unfiltered, uncensored, uncut. Because Patreon is ahead right now of YouTube. Which you would think it's not because I'm sick. But nope. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get into it. No, I heard today's story before. <laughs> oh, it's a baby. Oh, we're both hungry. I understand. <laughs> yeah, start talking with your farts. <laughs> Wait. That's how his dad talked. No, actually? No, you might think it's stupid, but Luffy's onto something. It's not an eel. <laughs> oh, they're both hungry. Oh. <laughs> Sweet baby boy, I know you and your dad have this animosity towards pirates, but you're too tired to even stand. Just put it down for a second, okay? Start hating pirates in a second. Oh. Oh. Da damn, damn. Oh, honey. Damn, you and your daddy are the same motherfuckers for real. Holy shit. He's in his preteen angst. Let him have it. Oh. Oh. Poor 
kid. Jesus. God, imagine being starved for that long and still pushing through to try to escape. Good on this kid, man. And his dad instilled such strong principles in him that, like, obviously we're going to be like, oh, if you eat food, you'll be strong enough to escape. But he doesn't have that mentality because it's about the principle of it all, right? And his understanding of, like, being a man and his co concept of that is so strong, right? And then he got into the secret room, god damn it. What? You ate a devil fruit? What? Is that the dragon dragon fruit? Motherfucker, did you eat the dragon dragon fruit? The lizard lizard fruit? Oh. Yeah, he ate his double fruit, so he can't. He's she's changing. Eat the guards. Eat the guards, Mononosuke. Oh my god! He's adorable! He's so cute. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> A man made devil fruit. Oh, Vegapunk is brilliant. Holy shit. That's a failed version? Oh, that's interesting. So that means there's been a lot of experiment. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you were checking yourself out. How? What? <laughs> Who's this sexy dragon? It's me. Ah! <laughs>
It's a failed it's a failed devil fruit. I don't think he can. See, that's the that's why I think it's failed. Is because I think that he's stuck like that. Right? <laughs> Imagine Cho Chopper walks up to him and just goes, Dude, just think about being a human. Whoop! <laughs> that was all I had to do! <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh, W. Yep. You right. You heard him. Is Luffy asleep or awake? Oh, he listened. Oh, he listened. Never mind. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> he calls him Momo now instead of Eel. No more Unagi. You are now. You are now a good boy, Momo. <laughs> Momo, Mono, same shit, Momo. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to find some sort of waste or something for him to eat. What the fuck? What the fuck? Was that Dofi's face? <laughs> hey, Luffy, grab on! <laughs> it looks like he might be going upwards soon. Luffy, grab on! There we go. Our dragon's going up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, just your nulls. I just scare somebody who's taking a shit. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, it's horrifying. <laughs> You know what's interesting to me about hockey is that like for Luffy, we learned that he like when he uses like armament hockey to grab a to grab somebody was like a logia fruit. 
right? His body color doesn't change. But he's technically using armament when he's grabbing them, right? For example, when he grabs Caesar, he doesn't actually change color. He only does it when he does hardening. But then for him, he's changing color when he's using armament. But it's technically not calling it hardening. He's just calling it a more advanced armament. So I think what they do is that they kind of just show different ways of representing hockey's armament by making it black. And then sometimes they don't because they assume you understand as the viewer that they're using armament. Because <laughs> like visually, it doesn't make sense for it to show black here because he didn't say he's using hardening. But then now he mentioned, oh, I'm using an advanced type. So I guess hardening makes sense here now in particular because he specified. But either way, like, we know hockey's supposed to be invisible. And I knew Luffy's was visible because it's hardening and it's rubber. So, like, that could make sense. Yeah, it's just very bizarre. Because, like, there's so many times where it's invisible intentionally. And they've showed us it's invisible every time they use it for almost every other character. And then for him, they started showing that it's black when it's not necessary. We know he's using it. Which is weird to me. I don't know if that's, like, anybody else finds that strange. Because there's so many characters where they just didn't use black to represent it. Or when someone's using armament talkie. Anyways. That's why it confused me way before. Like, I don't know how many episodes ago it was. It, like, confused the shit out of me. Because I was like, when you know, when, it's when Virgo first showed up. It confused me. Because I was like, I know they show it for Luffy because of hardening. But I don't know why they're showing it for him. And I was like, is, does he have hardening? What the fuck does this mean, right? But, I don't know. I just think it's kind of, like, inconsistencies that make it a little confusing. Okay, Smoker, I love you, bestie, but them motherfuckers. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, that was smooth as hell. Run that back. Run that shit back. That was so smooth. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Uh. oh, see, and there we go. There we go. So he's like, you see the black here? Hold on, on his elbow? It's like, yeah, so we know that. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. So it's like them using hockey. But it's invisible technically. It's just that they're showing it through with the hardening aspects by it being black. So it's more visual to us as a viewer. That's all that is. Yeah, because like we because there's so many times where they use it where they don't show that. They just want to show it the impact for the hit that they're trying to show. That's what that is. Because they yeah, okay. I get that. I get that for sure now. God damn. Oh, hell no. My, my, my hubby do that before he... When him and I go to sit down and play video games against each other, he does that too. And I'm like, Rich, 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 you do not need to lock in that hard, babe. Babe, do you do not need to lock in that... And he starts gamer stancing. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> we're just... We're just playing some, some casual games, babe. Right? <laughs> This is what happens when you're engaged to somebody who used to play video games professionally. Okay, this is... <laughs> Mind you, we both did. So technically... But I'm... I'm just vibing now, man. Stop stancing up and cracking... And he does, he does like a quick... He goes, hey, that's that. And he cracks both sides. And he leans forward and I'm like... What? What? I'm your wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, you can't blame this guy. He's a little chubby. All right. He likes being in the Marine. He likes being a part of G5 because they got good food halls. Okay. And yeah, he's a little extra thick, but he's trying his best. Okay. The training regiments aren't mandatory. They're optional. And he did not know that this would ever come to pass. Okay. <laughs> 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 mm. 
No, he's saving your life. He's kicking yes. He's kicking yes to safety. Don't you, Sanji. <laughs> he finna kill us before the smoke does, bitch. <laughs> Hey, Robin. There we go. She's trying to think of what to do. Is that bitch fighting with shish kebab skewers? Oh, hell no. Nah. Because I was buying that same set for my sister. Cause she just got a fire pit at her place. And I know that bitch loves s'mores and I do too. And th they got the same handles and everything. Oh my gosh, you go skewer our asses. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, listen. <laughs> I know that Navi and Robin are delectable treats, but there's none for you, bitch. <laughs> Good job, Zoro. Step in. <clears throat> Zoro's bounty is higher than 120 now, right? I thought it was higher than that. Is this 120? Oh. Dang. And Luffy's went up. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I'm so used to how Luffy's escalated after after Marine Ford. I'm so used to all of theirs going up at the same time. Right? So my brain was like, oh, since Luffy's went up, theirs went but it didn't. It was just it was just Luffy's. The rest of them were training for the two years. Yeah, yeah. They weren't there. Okay, I'll take care of her, he said. Okay, okay. Get yours, little saucy motherfucker. Get yours. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, and there we go. Oh. Oh, hell no. Zoro, 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 Zoro. If she's winning because of snow, I understand. But if she's matching you in sword to sword combat with skewers, I'm going to have to fight you on God. I'm going to have to fight you. I swear to God, you better win against a 1v1 <laughs> with shish kebabs. <laughs> like. I'm gonna feel personally offended. Nico Robin getting hit made perfect sense. She got she got caught from behind while she was focused on something else. Right? That makes sense. If you fucking mm, it better you better deal with her quickly. <laughs> oh man. The emotional sucker punches are crazy, man. Like, just... You know, like I, this is like actually just so well done for this part because sometimes a more comforting thing than words is knowing that someone else feels the same way you do, right? 
And that was kind of the perfect example of that. Like he kept trying to comfort her. But the moment she saw him also crying over it, she was like, oh, you relate to me. Like we connect on this. And like it provides more comfort to the person than actually like hearing the words. Right. So I understand that's that's like a really well done moment there. Yeah. The moment you feel like connection with somebody that they're going through the same thing and then you guys can like have that like understanding of each other it helps it's much more soothing i mean like that's like one of the things that like when i got diagnosed that they like try to recommend to me was to go to like these group cancer discussion session things kind of like group therapy but like i don't know it's like more weird environment like more relaxed where you like just talk about what you're going through and stuff and i personally didn't go because i was like that's not how i feel better I don't feel better by knowing someone else is going through the same thing, right? For me, I end up feeling worse because I'm like, holy shit, it's so hard to see other people going through it. Which is why when people are like, oh my God, Elise, you're going through cancer. Like, let me tell you about my family member. And I'm like, please, please don't. Like, all the love to you. But I don't, I don't do well with that kind of connection. Like, for me, how I like to handle things, I'm very, like, solo. And I don't really talk about things much when it comes to, like, my health. I kind of just stick with my like family and like my fiance and things like that. Cause that's how I get through things. I don't like the whole external thing. Right. But it's like, I totally understand that there's so many different ways to connect to people, especially during stuff like this. This is a very viable route that does help a lot of people. Oh my god, he is such a manipulator. Jesus Christ. He manipulated the fuck out of these kids. I can't wait till Luffy punches him again. I need to I need it again. I need Luffy to punch him again. Oh man, this some this some A plus manipulation, man. I fuck oh Oh no. You know what I'm really proud of is the fact that she hasn't tripped, fall, dropped it, or ripped it open by accident during all of this. That is fucking impressive by her. Yeah, they f I'm so mad at Law. Why did you have to change around her body parts? We could have had this. We could have had this. And now we got her creepy ass legs. Her creepy ass feet. I like this better. Oh no, she's too pretty and her voice is too nice. This is why I got trust issues. Yep. She's such a good kid. Like, I just... It's so heartbreaking because she's doing such a good job. Zoro? If you're telling me you got all them swords and you can't cut up a damn chicken, we gonna have problems. <laughs> Are you fucking with me?
What? Navi! Oh, yeah, that's some observation hockey, baby. That's some observation hockey, baby. Also, Nami, we will not forget what you just did. <laughs> Nami, we will not forget what you just did there. That's crazy. <laughs> <coughs> I am so fucking proud of Nami. She she literally gave a look like weak who bitch. Who are you calling me? Who you call a weak bitch? Oh, and then she hit her with it. Oh. Okay, she dropped the skewers. Someone grab it. I'm trying to make marshmallows. Nami's got the heat. Hold on. Toasted. Oh, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> Chopper, stay away! <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say it right now. Nami would be the best person to fight this bitch. Like, oh, we fight in weather? We're fighting literal snow person? Cool. Nami's thing is weather. <laughs> Beat her ass, Nami! Beat her ass! Nah, Toei, you weird for that. Toei, you gotta relax with these animations, you weirdos. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, I like that move. I'm in agreement with that move. Okay. I was scared for you too, baby boy. I'm sorry. I know that she's all about snow and ice, so she's saying you people are so uncool, right? Because, like, yeah. But she's saying it to Zoro. Zoro's the coolest mofuck in the anime. <laughs> Feels <laughs> like I get the pun you're working with here. But my <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh. Again, Zoro. <laughs> Ain't grabbed the sword. Zoro, I feel like. 
we can't be losing to this, right? Like, we've we cut iron, we've cut steel. <laughs> we can't lose to the bird, man. <laughs> we can't. What's that stoner song? It's called... Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon. That one? Yeah! Hey, we stoned as a bitch. You're doing so well, kid. Don't don't fade out. Don't fade. Damn, he's just like his dad. He's just like his dad. Holy shit. Yeah, you just like your daddy. I didn't mean to have an anime moment. I that was genuine. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why my brain did that <laughs> alongside them, but it did. <laughs> don't judge me. I have a fever. Don't judge me. <laughs> Oh, you know about that? Okay, I know this is okay. You know what? I'm gonna just say it. Fuck it. You guys, you guys have been watching me. We're 600 something episodes, and you guys know I go on tangents. Did you know there's a dude who stole guinea pigs? And he like put them in his pants and shit. I'm saying, do you guys know what I'm talking about? So when he's like, oh, yeah, I can always just steal more guinea pigs, right? I'm like, sounds like that one weird ass dude who like stole guinea pigs. And like, oh, man, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. So I heard the audio of his arrest for the guy with the guinea pigs and the audio of his arrest was like, <laughs> the cops go, put the guinea pigs down. <laughs> and they start searching him. Is there any more guinea pigs on you? <laughs> and he goes, I don't know, I think in my pocket or... Okay. I got another one. All right. Is... Are there any more... Well, I have to ask this man. Is there any in you? <laughs> he had some in his underwear. <laughs> If they curled up his ass. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. Do you want to know the fucked up part? So you're probably thinking this person's an animal activist, right? And no. This person was trying to buy drugs. So they were trying to sell guinea pigs. To, to get drug money. <laughs> <laughs> the same person broke into a sneaker store. But instead of stealing sneakers to sell, they broke into also a pet store to sell guinea pigs. What? They already broke into the sneaker store to steal the sneakers and sell those, you dumbass. <laughs> the market value for guinea pigs is not high enough. Anyways, so Caesar, I know Caesar's calling the kids guinea pigs and say they can go kidnap more, but all I could think about is that one dude like, well, I need more drugs. <laughs> Gotta kidnap more guinea pigs.
I gotta bring more true crime back to my channel. You guys need to be more informed <laughs> about the ongoings. Ugh. Ugh. Yabba 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 do! Oh, yabba 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 don't! Oh shit, bitch, run! <laughs> I'm gonna hope this is a Toei prolonging the fight thing. One, because they simp for women. And not actually this long of a fight in the manga. Because there's no way that Zoro is taking this long to fight this bitch. Because if she was, like, using her snow to, like, help him get lost in the middle of the fight, I'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, like, that, that checks out, right? But they're just clashing. <laughs> like, they're just clashing. This is not... Zoro's way too strong for this to be a problem. And yeah, you could be like, oh, well, she's using like, you know, the special snow infused feathers to like blah, 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 which makes it hard as steel. But he cuts steel and iron. So it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> so he should be able to beat this relatively quickly. <laughs> <clears throat> That makes two of us, bitch. No, no, I'm not. Maybe I can. She's like, man, I really didn't think I could beat you. Yeah, bitch, you and me both. You can't. This is stupid. You thinking maybe you can? It's because Toei wants to animate you more. That's all I'm going to believe in right now. Because there's no way, bitch. There's no way. <laughs> Oh, wait, this actually might work out. <laughs> hey, boys. Hey, Sanji. <laughs> hey. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way, bro. That's too petty. That's that's too petty. That's insane. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> they are obnoxious. Sanji, you found your people, man. <laughs> My god. They just noticed it's snowing in there? They're that down bad? 
Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm so done. I'm so done. <laughs> the simping was that strong? <laughs> now, I don't mean to alarm you, but I feel like this bitch might have given you the cold shoulder. <laughs> eh? Eh? <laughs> okay, yuck. That's all I'm saying, dog. Oh no, he's getting cold feet! <laughs> okay, bad bitch! Okay, bad bitch! That's right, she does! Because listen... Like, we knew before, Smokey, Smokey Chan said, oh, uh, like, I know her name's like Tai Gishi or something like that. I don't know. I just call her Glasses. He was like, Glasses, you, like, your hockey isn't strong enough to fight law, which means that she's a hockey user, which is sick. So it's like, yeah. So like, we, this makes, yeah, this, this is sick. Hell yeah. Okay, badass, go off. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, she stanced. Okay, thrive. Okay. I feel like you just insulted the hell out of him. All right. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of fucked up. Okay, but yeah. Because <laughs> he clearly was not winning yet. <laughs> this fight was taking too long. So. That is also mad insulting, though. Being like, oh, I think you need my help. Oh, what? He said, what did she just say, bitch? <laughs> but like. I don't know, man. You've been taking too long, so. She right. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for your love and support always. This is two videos, right? Did I do it? Okay, cool. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for your love and support always. We'll catch you next time. Bye!